Hello, it is mango season and today I have a sourdough shala mango bread. So here we go! To start, we're gonna make a stiff starter to have a less acidic bread. In a bowl, combine 60 grams or a quarter of a cup of sourdough starter and 60 grams or a quarter of a cup of water. Mix well to dissolve the starter and add 130 grams or a cup of bread flour. Mix with a silicon spatula to combine the ingredients well. Use your hands to keep mixing. You can knead the dough on your working table for a minute until you get a soft dough. Place it in a jar. Press the sourdough starter down to the base of the jar. Use a rubber band to mark the level of the starter. Cover with a lid and let it rest in a warm place for about 4 hours or until it doubles in size. After 4 hours, your starter should look like this one, very bubbly and ripe. Get two ripe mangoes and extract their pulp. Wake the mango until you get 275 grams or 1 3 quarter cups of pulp and blend it all together. Then in a stand mixer, pour 2 eggs at room temperature. The mango pulp and all of the stiff starter. Add 90 grams or half a cup of sugar and start mixing with the hook attachment. Add 500 grams or 4 cups of bread flour, little by little. When all the flour has been incorporated into the dough, add 75 grams or a third of a cup of butter at room temperature. And 10 grams or half a tablespoon of salt. Keep mixing for 10 to 15 minutes until your dough is soft and elastic. My dough is not yet ready, but I want to take it out of the bowl to show you how to knead this kind of dough. I am using the slap and fold method, where you basically grab the dough with both hands, then you slap it onto the table and then you pull the dough and fold it over. When your dough is soft and elastic, make it into a ball and place it in a grease bowl. Cover with plastic wrap and let it rest overnight in the fridge. The next morning, take the dough out of the fridge Use a weight scale to divide your dough in four equal pieces
make a cylinder of dough of about 20 inches or 50 centimeters. Roll your dough carefully until you get a long cylinder. Repeat the same process until you get 4 cylinders of dough. Cover with a towel and let them rest for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, take 2 cylinders of dough and place them horizontally next to each other. Then place the other 2 vertically on top similar to a whip. Break them together so that each cylinder goes under and then over another cylinder. Make sure your weave looks like this one before you continue. Take a strand of dough that is under and place it over its neighbor. Take the next one and do the same, the one that's under goes over its neighbor. The one that's under goes over its neighbor. The one that's under goes over its neighbor. Now we reverse the process and go counterclockwise. Again, taking the one that's under and placing it over its neighbor. The one that goes under, place it over its neighbor. The one that's under goes over its neighbor. Repeat the process until you only have small strands left that you can tuck under. Place the shallow on a piece of parchment paper and cover it with plastic wrap or put it in a plastic container like this one to proof for about 4 hours. After 4 hours, place the shala on a baking tray and brush it with egg wash. Then 
Bake it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for about 40 minutes or until your shala is golden brown. Place the shala on a cooling rack and let it cool for about 20 minutes before slicing. You're gonna love this shala. The addition of mango makes it very tasty and interesting. I hope you can try this recipe. This bread is very soft and delicious. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a new recipe every week. Thank you for watching.